In the past few weeks, we've had AI Uzi Vert, AI Kanye, and now an entire AI dog. Melody is a bit too loud. But don't worry, fellow producers, I don't think AI is coming for our job just yet. In this video, I'll be breaking down WaveTool, the online AI DAW, and why I don't think this kind of AI will yet have a big space in the music scene, but where I think it could end up in the future in ways and tools that could actually benefit artists, unlike tools like this. To get started, I wanna talk a little bit about what WaveTool is and how it uses AI to generate music. As opposed to a prompt to music system that would generate actual music from noise, this is more of a prompt to scripting system. This could be any prompt you can think of to control something inside of the DAW, including turn down that synth, generate a four bar ARP for me, or generate chords in the key of F major. In order to even get the chatbot working, I had to fill out a survey using the service type form, so be aware of that. And that survey seemed to mainly be getting a grasp of what DAWs these artists are using so they can target plugins in the future for users. The first thing that I asked it to do is generate me an ARP MIDI in the key of F, and it can do that, but it already got a few things wrong, and I wanna talk about why I think this method will hurt artists more than help them. I think there's a lot of AI tools that can benefit an artist in the same way that when we first invented computers and 3D software, they benefited animators and allowed their jobs to be done a lot easier. Just like is commonplace in this corporate landscape that we live in, AI right now is being force fed into every single program, into everything you can imagine, into ways that are so, so unnecessary. For instance, instead of helping me learn what an ARP is, which is one of the simplest things to play, this tool just generates it for me and it doesn't even listen to me when I say to do eight bars instead of four. It is a neat little trick if you need a quick MIDI, but not only can I do this by hand quicker, but there's literally a hotkey in FL Studio that'll take any key that I play and then translate it into an ARP, and it's highly controllable and much faster than this. Let's try to give it something a little more advanced and see what it can do. Generate a drum pattern with hi-hats in a 1 16th pattern with variation every so often. I'm interested to see what it does with this prompt. I have a feeling it won't be too creative, I genuinely think it took longer to generate those hi-hats than it would have if I would have just made them myself. And first off, if you need a simple 1 16th pattern in FL, all you have to do is right click and click paste. But what would be a really cool implementation of AI like this in the future, if it was smart enough to say, when you told it generate a 1 16th pattern of hi-hats, to just tell you, you can right click and click fill every other step in FL Studio. Like if you could combine this type of prompting with an actual system for learning that actually benefited artists and guided them towards a better understanding of music, music theory, instruments, and just their DAW in general, that would be extremely helpful, as opposed to something that just takes their hand and puts it right on the dart for them. There's a difference between teaching somebody to throw darts and just putting their hand on the bullseye every single time so that they never actually learn what they're doing. And then when it comes time to troubleshoot and learn about the system behind everything, they have no understanding or grasp of it. And that's the main problem that I see with AI right now and AI tools in general. If you just let them generate everything for you from scratch, you aren't learning and you're actually falling behind instead of progressing. And you can learn to prompt better, but unless you understand the system behind those prompts in general, then you're also not even progressing. It just seems like a lot of time people misunderstand AI tools and instead of using them to benefit themselves and learn, they use them to do everything for them, which allows them to do the opposite of progress. And with all that being said, let's take a look at the hi-hats. Let's solo these drums and listen to them. I will say that sounds just as good as an autofill in FL Studio, so at least it has that going for it. And I am a giant fan of node-based systems like this one here and the one featured in Blender, as well as simple interfaces like this. So it does have a few things going for it as a DAW as a whole. However, as far as the chat feature, none of these chat features are actually useful or helpful so far, and they aren't actually teaching you about the drum patterns or the midis that you're generating, so they're not actually helping the artist. I will say it's fairly obvious that a prompt-based system like this, as opposed to straight up generating music, does help the artist more than noise diffusion ever could and give them more precise control, but that doesn't mean it's actually something that is useful or will really help an artist learn at all. The idea of having ChatGPT directly in a DAW could do nothing but benefit you if you used it right. For instance, let's ask ChatGPT something that's not related to scripting. What BPM should I use if I am making hyperpop? 
This kind of learning capabilities and having access to ChatGPT directly in a DAW is what I'm really excited for, as opposed to having the DAW create the music for me. And that's the future I'm most excited for for things like WaveTool and for ChatGPT in general. As of now, I think there's no reason to really check out WaveTool. The pro subscription is $20 a month and gives you unlimited access to WaveTool as well as ChatGPT. But like I said, this is not something that I'm currently interested in, but I am super excited for the future of ChatGPT being implemented inside of DAWs and being able to use it as a tutor as opposed to a generative tool. Once you realize that this is actually just hooked directly to ChatGPT, that's where the options become pretty much endless. And that's what I'm really excited for. These kind of songwriting tools and the ability to ask any question about any genre and any music learning technique is going to be super important for artists in the future. And it's going to level the music education pipeline that we currently have now, where if you cannot afford a heavy music education, then you can't get one. Obviously, we've already dismantled that pipeline heavily with the access to Google, YouTube, the internet, me, us, this community, of course, you know, I'm not undermining that at all, but I'm just saying that there's still some places where people have trouble learning that way. And being able to learn from a one-on-one -on -one personal digital tutor is going to be something super powerful and to me, super inspiring. I just hope that it gets used for good by people and not for bad. Thank you guys so much for listening. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and what you think about this technology. So much love and peace.